Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Zaid uh, Alisa Al Maliki, and uh, today I will give you another uh, interview question. Uh, so let's get start started. But the first thing I want to tell you about my website, which is this one, Data Acadian. Uh, you can see here a couple of tutorials of software engineering, uh, machine learning, uh, trading, uh, anything you can boost your career. So don't forget to check this uh, website and you can check my channel. So don't forget as well to check the, the channel. So let's get start with the, our problem. Uh, this problem that we have uh, today is called uh, reservoir sampling. Reservoir sampling is uh, very useful uh, when there is uh, an endless stream of data uh, and your goal is to grab a small sample uh, with the uniform uh, probability. So the math behind it is uh, straightforward, straightforward, really straightforward. Uh, given a sample of uh, size uh, k with uh, n items uh, so far, the chance for any item to be selected is uh, k uh, divided by n. When the next item comes in, uh, the current sample has a chance to survive uh, with k divided on n uh, multiplied by n divided on n plus 1. This is equal uh, k divided by n plus 1. Well, the new item uh, has a, a chance of uh, k divided on n plus 1 uh, to be uh, selected. So now uh, we have uh, to start with the programming part, which is the best part. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So that's it. Ladies and gentlemen. Start with the programming. Import. Mm, one thing, one thing. Okay, let me see here. Put it more beautiful for you, my friends. Okay, this one. Let's start it. Import random. Okay, define reservoir sampling. Create a function with the it. Iterator with the iterator, okay, and then we create a variable result equal, which is an empty array, n equal to zero. After that, create a loop for item in iterator. Oh, sorry, my friends. From iterator, we check each item in the iterator. We make we create a count and we can increment this count if length the length of the result is less than k uh, so what we did what we will do uh, is result append and then here we append the item uh, after that if it's not I'll say some the case if length of the result is less than k, uh, so we append it. If not, what we do is do another operation, j equal int, we create a random number, dot rand, uh, we take this, and we multiply it by n. Let's see this, multiply this by n, after that, we check that k, is less than that so the result is j equal item and we finish by returning result take this after that okay format the code so now we create the main program to make the test if name equal 
have this here. We have main. After that, check the main. Okay, let me see if name equal is double equal, my friends. Sorry for the error. We put the stream, which is a stream of numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. We select four, and after that, we call our function reservoir sampling. Okay. So now we run the program. Let's run it. Okay. No, this is another program. We run our new program. We run this reservoir. Okay. We have an error. Beautiful. Okay, we forgot we forgot to put this the stream and the number. So now we run it again, and we can check. Uh, we select eleven, two, three, seven. We run it again. Is then different number six, eight, three, four. Okay, my friends. So now let's check this. What is said here? Uh, given a of k within item service, the chance for any item to be selected is k divided by n. So it's k divided by n. Okay. So after that, we check here the items. Print item. You can see the items here. Okay, items. We change this. Okay, preference. After that, preference, preference, appearance and behavior, appearance, put this smaller, 20, okay, apply, okay, so we go from here, exit full screen, and we go from exit presentation mode, we go again, enter presentation mode, okay. So now we can see better. Mm, let's run this again. Run. Okay, reservoir sampling. And we can see here the items. From 1 to 12, and we select 7, 2, 11, 4. Okay. After that, we delete this. Okay, my friends. After that, we have this here. So here we check the result. If the result less than k, and the result after k. So the k here is 4, okay? So we print the result here, you can check it yourself. Print the result here. Okay, now we come back again to the result. And we can see it's 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 5, 12, 7, 10. So here, for example, the result. Okay, because check the one, the two, the three, and after that, when you have more than this, we start up ending there after that, we, what we have to do is, uh, we update the result, so we delete the old result, okay, which is one, two, and three, and we create another ones. Okay, if we change this, imagine we put 10 here, so we'll change it. This is, we'll have 10 numbers, let me put this five, Okay, so now we have another uh, kind, different result. Okay, so we delete this result here and we go to the result there. Okay, print result. Okay, this is else. Check the result here. So this is what we have. We have 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 7, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 11, 4, 8, and 6, 12, 11, 4, 8. Okay, this is why I start changing. And after that, get, this is the end result, 6, 12, 11, 4. So we selected what we want here. And 
uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much to listen to this tutorial and we will come back soon uh, we will come back soon thank you very much and have a nice day